in this tutorial i will guide you how to enable ray tracing in wuthering waves now if you go to settings and then select here graphics and you scroll down to advanced graphic settings here you'll normally see a option which is called the ray tracing as you sit here let me show you as you can see they normally see an option which is called the ray tracing if you don't see this ray tracing option in your game if you go to settings then select graphics scroll down here to advanced and then you'll see an option which is called the ray tracing now if you don't see this option it's probably because your gpu isn't supported now wuthering waves supports ray tracing only on 4000 series and beyond it's probably because your rtx series is either 2000 or 3000 and ray tracing is only supported in 4000 series and beyond now i'll guide you on how to enable this ray tracing whether your pc supports it or it doesn't support it make sure to follow these instructions very carefully now to do so just follow the instructions here now just come here to the search bar of your windows and search for registry editor so I'll search for registry editor and open this application now once you open the registry editor first make sure you go here to task manager search for task manager and check your gpu version so search for task manager and open this task manager and then select here where it is written on performance and then select the gpu as you can see my gpu is nvidia geforce rtx 4060 laptop gpu and for you this is supported since rtx 4000 gpu series are supported ray tracing in wuthering waves now for you it may be 2000 or 3000 now to enable this let's so follow the instruction here so open the registry editor and then come here where it is written h key local machine so click this arrow here on the HK local machine and then select here where it is written system. So select this arrow on the system and then come here down where it is written on the current control set. So select this current control set and then select here where it is written enum. So enum and then come here where it is written PCI. So select this arrow here to come down. Now then scroll down here. So scroll down and come where it is written here on the Ven 10 DE and Dev 28. So exactly as it is written here, select this arrow again, then select this. After selecting this here down here, exactly as I have done, come here where it is written device description, which is device desk. So right click on it and then select here modified. Now it will give you a value data. So it's very important to make sure to copy this value data. So I'll copy this value data and then go to your notepad or just anywhere you can write. So, so let me cancel this first and then come here to notepad or just anywhere. And make sure to paste this. You can name it original description. I've already pasted it, which is this one. Now copy this, which will be available on the description of this video. So make sure to copy it. I'm not going to change since mine is supported, but for you, since it's unsupported, Make sure to copy this, which will be available on the description of this video. So copy it, come to your registry editor, and then right click on the device disk again. Select here, modify, and make sure to paste this all the way from, make sure to paste it from start to finish. Make sure to paste it. After pasting it, click OK to save changes, then restart your PC so that the effect should take place. And after that, relaunch the game and your issue should just be resolved. But always make sure to keep a backup always make sure you have the original description so that you can change it at any time since sometimes you may face compatibility issues so make sure always you have the original description that you can return it back later and after changing you will see an option which is called ray tracing will be found here if you go to your settings and then graphics scroll down to advanced and then you'll see an option which is called the ray tracing so we should follow these instructions very carefully though i'm not recommending you to change your gpu always just use the original one the original is the best so maybe you can change it for testing but always i recommend you to use the original sometimes it comes with some issues so make sure to just try it and you'll see an option for ray tracing has been added to your game so thank you so much for watching this video and see you next time